Nation, welcome back to another video. I'm here at the garage and uh, basically I went ahead and watched the video that John went ahead and filmed and uh, pretty much put together, and recorded and all that stuff and then my boy Johnny edited it, so shout out to him as well. But anyways, um, so yeah, the video is pretty much completed. Shout out to my boys for pretty much helping me out there as I was on my trip. I'm officially back and like you guys know from the last video, um, these are the last two videos I'm gonna be commenting over. They did all the work, so shout out to them. But anyways, just cut straight into John's work. What is going on guys? My name is John. I'm here with Fitted Racing. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install an airbag kit on this 435i. Now that everything is back on, I'm gonna go ahead and take apart the trunk just so I can see where I can route the lines, the management, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So by the looks of it, there's this clip right here, and then there's four clips back here that we have to take off. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get started. So this just this comes out just like that. There's a huge mess here. Thank you, Nor. Take this clip off. And it broke. Wow. Well, that's life. What are you gonna do? Okay, after seven hours, I finally got that clip off. After that, we got these clips back here. So this should just come up just like that. And it is out. All right, this is out. Now I can see where I can route my lines. After like a million clips, finally got this out. So the reason I take this out is just so I can see where I can route all the electrical loom and all the airlines. And it also gives me a lot of space to work with around here, so that's good. Next step would be to take this one out. I already went ahead and took off all the clips. Now I just have to take this off and it should pop out. Now that I got the interior completely torn apart, it is now time for the next step, and that is routing this wire loom that Airlift sends throughout the interior of the car. Now, I know it, mi it might seem a bit scary for some people. Airlift goes ahead and sends out this instruction manual, which tells you everything you need to know about the wire loom, what connects to what, and what goes where. So yeah, let's go ahead and route this inside the car. Okay, so since BMW is smart, and has their battery back here. Also, their fuse box is back here. The only thing that's actually gonna be routed up is the remote cable, USB cable. So that's gonna make life a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up there, say bye bye to it. And this stuff, I'm gonna route it back here neatly. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Another thing to remember is that Airlift lets you know where all this stuff goes. So I don't know if you can read that, but that says battery fused. So that is going to go to the battery. There's this other one back here that says compressor. Yeah, that goes to the compressor. Another thing to remember is that before you go ahead and uh, make your trunk set up completely nice and all that stuff, before you route every single wire nice and tucked, you do wanna go ahead and connect the management, connect the power to the battery, and just get some air into the bags, just so if there's a leak, you know, just an air leak or something, we can go ahead and get that figured out before we do the trunk setup, before we, we go too many steps ahead. That's the reason why I'm just gonna leave the uh, wiring like that and then I'm gonna come back okay so on this car there's like absolutely no grommets I can go through through the inside of the car everything is well hidden and so I can route the uh, airline so what I'm gonna do is go through back here like this and then route the airlines all throughout the frame here I'll probably go through the inside right here just because it is out of the way and it goes all the way back like that. Tuck it up high and nicely and yeah, we'll just go from there. Okay, so I do want to point out that I went ahead and went to Home Depot and I grabbed some of the insulated cable clamp with rubber on them just so I can self-tap these onto the body of the car or the undercarriage of the car, not the body of the car. I got half inch and I got three eighths because the, the air hose is quarter. So this should work nicely down there. And just like that, we have the uh, fender liner back in. Let's go ahead and tighten everything up. Okay. 
just like that, it's done up here. So let's go ahead and do the uh, the other side. Okay, I finally got both sides done. All the lines are routed nicely, nice and tucked. You can't tell that we have air suspension, which is awesome. So now I'm gonna come back here. Even the rear, it's nicely tucked. All the lines are nicely tucked. Now I'm gonna come back here and mount the airlift management in the trunk and also route these lines to the management. So let's go ahead and do that. And just like that, all the lines are connected. Now we're gonna have to put the uh, tank over here and route all the wires. I'm gonna have them tucked right here, really nice and clean. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once the air loom or wiring loom is all done, we got these butt connectors for the compressor. These other connectors go to the battery. What you're gonna wanna do is take it to the trunk, set it down here. This is for the uh, remote. You're just gonna wanna throw that over there. Forget about it. And then this is just gonna go right here. I'm gonna put that there for now. Yeah, just connect everything to the batteries, connect those to the compressor. This is for the management, that goes here. We'll tuck that nicely, but for now, we're just gonna test the system, make sure that there's no leaks, and go from there. How are we looking? All right, so I think it's finally time to uh, test everything out. Don't worry about the mess, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna route everything nicely. I just wanna test everything out, make sure that there's no leaks on any of these fittings or any of the bags. Let's connect this and see, see what happens. Gonna connect that. Compressors are loud, by the way. You never yes, heard they are. So far, so good. See if the remote's turned on. Fresh interior detail by Jonathan. Jonathan Wick. Oh. I was like, why isn't it on? Maybe that's why. You do need to plug it in. The shirt come on. So it's plugged in. There, it there we go. Calibration, exit. We're not gonna calibrate it yet. yet. Just because the car isn't on the ground, so we're not gonna calibrate it yet. Exit. It's not touchscreen. Yeah, either. it's not touchscreen. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Touchscreen. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna let the tank fill up and then come back. Top right corner. There's only one compressor that usually fills up around. I don't know. Mine's goes, 150. Yeah, it goes to 149. 150. Yeah. yeah. It's at one. 148, which is pretty good. So we're just gonna put a little bit of air in it. 150 is pretty good. I'm gonna hold it at 150 on all corners. Just to test, you know. So now we're gonna go around, get some soapy water and put it all around the fittings. Make sure that there's no leaks out. So, um, yeah, spray some soapy water. Make sure you don't see any bubbles, which is pretty good. We don't see any bubbles there. Cool. Wheels or trunk first? Wheels. 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 All right. We need to see this on the All right. We need to get motivated. Because the trunk can be done while the car is off jack stand. Yeah. Should I leave my lights on or turn them off? Because they're kind of, it looks kind of cool, but they're like tripping out. No, that's sick.
Yeah. Wasting the air, huh? That's it. And now. Hi, John. So what's going on here? So we're in the middle of editing, right? Um, unfortunately, all these clips got corrupted. So pretty much I think it's them doing like the making the management look really nice and clean. But it, I got the footage of them actually putting the wheels on and like lowering it. So you guys will have already seen that, but the rest is unfortunately gone, so. See, so yeah, I saw, unfortunately, you guys weren't able to see the full full process because a lot of the footage got corrupted. He was recording on his GoPro and we used a micro SD card. And I guess the micro SD card was not that great. Anyways, whatever happened, the car is done. So I'm super hyped for that. It looks super good. All right, let's show him like up and down. Hold up, hold up. By the way, oh this setup is sick. It's really nice. It's actually it? like really light too. I like it. So, so one cool thing that Devon actually showed me because his car is bagged is that he got the controller uh, coded to where it actually raises on its own. So okay, every time I get in the car, it just come, it just raises on its own, which is nice. So I don't accidentally turn the steering wheel and pop off my bumper. So anyways, check this out, guys. So turn it on. Oh my God. So this is pretty much up all the way. And then if I'm feeling cheeky, you know, I'm at a parking lot. All my boys are here. I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to flex with my suspension. I just go ahead. Somebody fire bro with that. <laughs> As you just hear the compressor right now, that just, ugh, it needs to get back up to 150 PSI. So you guys pretty much saw it. That is, that's pretty much the completed bag. So I finally have the wheels that I really, really, really wanted concave in the rear. I actually love the center cap. So if you guys don't like them, I'm sorry, but I actually feel like rocking them for a little bit. I personally love them. The people around me that see them in person actually love them. So we're gonna be rocking it for a little bit. Hopefully you guys can judge it when you guys come down to Beamer Fest this year. I'm partnering up with Keys Motorsports to get a whole bunch of carbon on this car. So hopefully we get the lip, the side skirt extensions, diffuser, spoiler, mirror caps, all that stuff pretty soon for you guys show you guys all those mods and then we're going straight into engine mods like i said i want to push five to six hundred horsepower so that's one of like the pretty much i don't want it to just be a show car i want it to also be a performance car so you guys will be seeing that all in the near future again shout out to john shout out to jonathan <laughs> links to both their channels will be down below without further ado see you guys in the next one love y'all so much remember to stay humble and peace peace out <laughs> yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth.